I'm James Monroe. We are deep into the office holiday party season, and as usual, we'd like to remind you to not let your festivities shorten or derail your career. Stuart Rudner is a partner at Rudner McDonald LLP. Stuart, have you had your office party yet? Uh, it went great. We're, we're a small group, but uh, it was a, a great afternoon of uh, team building and you know, just thanking everyone for all their, their hard work all year. So it was a great afternoon. Did you behave yourself? Everyone behaved very well. That's not always the case, though, is it? No, uh, and more often than not, uh, as an employment lawyer, we hear the stories where people don't behave very well at the holiday party. Times certainly have changed. Remind us what office parties used to be like when they got out of control. Ridiculously crazy holiday parties with people getting absolutely sloshed, people having hotel rooms, people hooking up and going up to hotel rooms. Uh, I think it's changed quite a bit. I think that may be part of the problem. Is you're, you're taking a lot of people who are used to working together, putting them in a totally different context where they're not quite sure what the rules are anymore, and then just to make it more interesting, throwing alcohol into the mix. So the best rule of thumb for employees seems to be act like you're still at the office, even if you're at a nightclub. Uh, that's a great point. I mean, even though it's a party and it may be out and you might be drinking and you might be dancing, you're not at a nightclub. Don't dress as though you're going out to a club and don't behave as though you're at one. You're still at a work event and what you do can have consequences for you at work when you come back on the next day. That's Stuart Rudner, a partner at Rudner McDonald LLP. And at the Business Centre, behaving myself, I'm James Monroe.